welcome to Droidbox. My name is Hashan. And my name is David. And today we are unboxing the Droidbox Play On. So here is the Play On box. Hoping it simply moves this across. Inside is just a foam covering just to protect the contents. So you get a US power plug. What we'll do is include a UK adapter for it. You get a USB data and charge cable. You get the play on itself, which we'll show in more detail in a moment. There's a screen protector, which you can fit onto your play on. And a quick start guide, which just shows you all the controls and buttons and what they do. So onto the play on itself. So, features a hinge design, so depending on which way you're sitting or laying down, it clicks into place and holds in. It's a 5 inch LCD screen which is also touch, so you can use it to navigate menus and so on. The controls are a dual analog joystick, you get plus and minus volume buttons, power button, menu button and a game button which allows you to configure the controls to the touch screen. We'll show that in the demonstration a bit later on. There's a digital D-pad, your A, B, X, Y gaming buttons, start and select and home and return button. On the top of the play on are four shoulder buttons. There's a headphone jack, HDMI output, OTG cable which you can use for charging and data transfer and finally a micro SD slot. So what we'll do next is show you the play on up and running and some of the software you can use with it. So this is the menu software when you first switch on the play on. You can use either the touch screen or the analog or digital joypads to uh, navigate the menus. So I'll just quickly show you the touch screen. So as you can see it's very responsive, uh, no lag at all. And it's the same with the joysticks as well. So what we'll do next is give you a brief overview of the software such as EpiCheck and um, some of the applications. We will give you a brief overview of all the apps that are installed. If you want a more in-depth one, you can click the link in the top right of the screen, which will give you a overview of all of the apps, uh, one by one, including demonstrations. For this video, we'll just give you a brief overview. So the first one is AppyChick, which is a um, primarily emulator-based app. So from here you can download um, games for various emulators. Some of the emulators are pre-installed, some of them you do need to download. You've also got access to emulators that are pre-installed, for example PPSSPP, which is a PlayStation Portable emulator. Uh, when you install other systems, you can access them from down the bottom, so you've got Super Nintendo, Dreamcast and PlayStation 1. On the game section, this is where you can install your games to. So you've got Gamepad Assistant, which gives you access to various games, kind of similar to the Google, Google Play Store. You've got the Remote app, which allows you to stream uh, games from your PC to your Droidbox Play On. Uh, that works over Wi-Fi. On the applications, you've got apps such as BBC News, uh, web browser, our own version of Kodi called DBMC, which I'll quickly show you. So this is exactly the same as what you would find on um, like a Droidbox T8 S Plus. Um, this also comes with our own maintenance tools. So from here you can install your favourite add-ons and uh, set up your media libraries for example. 
Another piece of software that you will find on it is Joybox Control Center. This is useful for finding information from our website. So there's YouTube videos, um, access to our L2 section. So from here you can just type in what you're looking for here and um, there'll be an answer for it. There's also quick links to fixing common problems such as uh, coding not loading. Another one of our apps is the Droidbox Market, which is similar to the Google Play Store. From here you can download a variety of apps that we've handpicked. So for example, there's um, additional Kodi downloads, uh, TV apps, network apps, and uh, there's games on there as well. And the third app is Droidbox Share, which allows you to connect to, um, if you have a Droidbox TATS Plus, for example, from there you can um, screen mirror and uh, send over files such as videos, uh, vid music and uh, photos. Uh, other apps include uh, Facebook, there's Filmon, uh, IPVanish VPN, uh, Google Play Store, Showbox, um, YouTube and so on. And finally is the setting screen. So there's quick access to popular settings on there. If you require anything else, you can click on the advanced settings and that takes you to the main Android menu. As mentioned at the start, if you want to check out a more in-depth video, including a demonstration of uh, some of the emulators and the games you can play, click the link to the video in the top right hand side. So that was the unboxing of the Droidbox Play On. I loved it, I enjoyed it, it was fun, fun, fun. Share, comment and subscribe. Check it out. What do you think, David? It's really good, definitely worth a buy. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching and goodbye.